Hello everyone and welcome to your last segment of Fantasy Football Fridays. Today we are here to debate who will win the title of Super Bowl champs on February 7th. I'm Michael. And I'm Evan. And we believe that the Buccaneers are going to win. Now let's go to Paul. Hey Peace Up, it's Paul here. And I believe the Chiefs are going to win. With their offensive power including Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, Tyreek Hill, and Le'Veon Bell. What about you Marcus? I think the Chiefs have a very explosive defense led by Frank Clark, Brashawn Breland, and Tyran Matthew. I think it's going to be real hard to stop that defensive line, including Chris Jones. Michael, what are your thoughts about this game? I think the Buccaneers are going to come out with a stout defense in order to win the game, led by linebacker Devin White. They're going to really need the defense to come out swinging in order to stop the Chiefs' offensive powerhouse to win the game. What do you think, Evan? You know, I'm not much of a numbers guy, I'm more like a miscellaneous guy, and like, the Chiefs just bring, like, Jackson Mahomes, Patrick's brother, to the table, and I just think that's, an, that's a minus one on their part. It's a minus one. What about their offensive threats? Um, some offensive threats, uh, Le'Veon Bell, I mean, he's a Michigan State guy, like, I'm a big Michigan State guy myself, but like, I just want the Bucs to take this one home. Buccaneers coming out with quarterback Tom Brady going into his seventh Super Bowl. Do you think he has the offensive key threats to win the game? You know, a lot of people like to say he's washed. I, I've never really rooted for Brady in the past. Like, like I said, I'm a Michigan State guy. He's a Michigan guy. But for once in my life, I'm rooting for him. But yeah. What, what do you think, Paul? I think the Chiefs, in order to win this game, they have to get past the Bucks secondary. With their fast speed, Tyreek Hill and Sammy Watkins, if they can get past the Bucks secondary, I think they have a good chance of winning this game. What about you, Marcus? I also agree with you too, Paul. The, the Buccaneers have a pretty, def pretty good defense. Safety, Antoine Winfield is very good for a rookie this year. Mm -hmm. But I feel like if Sammy Watkins and Tyreek Hill, along with McCole Hartman, can run past them like they know how to, it's going to be a pretty good game. Plus, Patrick Mahomes has always been playing MVP caliber this season. So I really think it's going to be a pretty decent edge for the Chiefs. Mm -hmm. But it's going to be up to how the Chiefs defense can hold Tom Brady and Chris Godwin together because those two, along with Mike Evans, they are pretty deadly. I, I believe so. And I think a lot of people are missing uh, Le'Veon Bell in the backfield. Even though the Bucks have a pretty nice running defense, I feel like he, if he can explode and uh, use his uh, full strength, I think he can uh, be able to pound through that defense. <laughs> I agree with you too. Le'Veon Bell, he was an amazing running back over at Pittsburgh. He kind of lost it a little bit at the Jets, but hopefully being in the Super Bowl with the Chiefs might give him a little bit of his old self back, you know? Yeah. Michael, Evan, what do you guys think about this? I think the Bucks are going to come out with their offensive powerhouse with their tight end, Rob Gronkowski, and all their wideout stars, including Antonio Brown just coming out of retirement. Tom Brady has so many offensive threats that he can throw to that the Chiefs' defense just won't be able to hold up. And I think that their defense is going to come out and hold the Chiefs to low points and come out and win the game. And that's all for your Super Bowl debate. I believe that the Buccaneers are going to come out on top, and that's what's going to happen on February 7th. Have a great day.